Hey YouTubers, this is Alex Power with Creative Cinema and today I want to talk about GoPro Hero 5. Stay tuned. So I got that GoPro Hero 5 has a really nice robbery feel right out of the box. And um, uh, as I've mentioned, it, it is waterproofed. Also, you don't need any extra housing for uh, dipping it under water. So it's another big plus. Has a nice snap. It's ready to go for action. This one has a touch screen unlike other GoPro models. So let's turn it on. Ready to record right now. 1080, 30 frames per second. Or you can change that by just tapping right here. And instead of 1080, you can go lower or you can go slide it to the right. You can go higher. 2K, 2.7K, uh, 4 by 3. 2.7K and 4K. So as I mentioned, 4K only up to 30 frames per second is available. If you go 2.7K, you can uh, use higher. So let's say we'll set this 2.7 and you go for the frame rates and then you can go higher. You can go uh, again to the right. It's kind of odd. 48 frames per second and 60 frames per second. That's so awesome to have this extra resolution I think it's really really cool uh, so again set it up 60 if we were uh, going back and switching it to 4k and setting it up it will show oops 60 frames per second not available for this one so you need to go down to in the resolution to uh, 1080 or 2.7 K so uh, 1080 let's see how much uh, that more has uh, frames per second we can go 60 we can go 80 which is cool we can go 90 can go 100 frames per second that's a really slow motion 120 frames per second 240 frames per second let's try that boom 240 now nah, we need to change resolution to lower one to let's say 720 let's see if that works so yeah 720 frame uh, p high definition 240 frames per second that's a real slow mo right inside your camera that's really cool when you scroll through that like that you go to preferences and you can go like camera tour do the camera tour oops the first one will be a camera tour just press that camera tour thing. It will take you through all the features that camera has. So in order to open this little door here, you need to press it with your finger and slide it like this manner right here. Okay. And um, you can just remove it. 
But putting it back is much harder. If you try to put it back the way it was, like that, trying to put it back, it's just impossible. You just can't. So all you need to do just to push this part here, like that, forward, and let this thing stir out here. And then you can put it back successfully snap into place and then you slide it back and here you have it so the conclusion will be I do recommend the GoPro Hero 5 camera as a backup camera as an action camera um, as the um, underwater camera if you don't dive too deep like uh, if you don't go like a deep ocean uh, that probably it's not gonna do it for you but anyway attaching the door back to the camera that's kind of pin in the butt but hopefully with my help you can handle it another thing that it's draining the battery that's a shame I'm on a GoPro team so you guys just should advance this DJI smart battery sitting inside the DJI Osmo for like a weeks and nothing happens it the charge is still there it will lose some of the charge okay I understand that but losing the entire charge overnight that's ridiculous that's just bullshit so um, that's two things I don't like because I wanted to have it already battery inside inside the housing ready for action then it's not a big deal for me like to take this extra minute to put the battery in and then close the uh, door that's not closing that easily and um, but um, overall overall don't get me wrong it's a great camera you should definitely buy it if you have already GoPro 4 was was underwater housing and was was all this accessories probably probably I would not upgrade but my uh, Hero 3 that I had years ago just got broke um, it fell out of the huge building and then um, it just broke apart you know so uh, I figured that that's a great time for me to buy a, a new uh, GoPro Hero 5 that's my thoughts that's my uh, opinion about the GoPro Hero 5 I do recommend I do advise you to buy it look for a good deal always uh, there's there's some good deals out there generally goes for about uh, $399 around 400 bucks I have an Amazon Prime so it just like it comes like lightning fast like in two days hope that video was helpful for you like subscribe and peace see you guys later GoPro stop recording